What up, this drama screen at the Press Junket for Fat Camp, one of my favorite films at the festival circuit this year. I'm here with Chris and Annabelle. How you doing? I'm good, man. Feeling great. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. This movie cracks me up. Oh my goodness. One of the funniest movies I've seen all year. Um, I got to ask you uh, this fun question for both of you. Uh, how much alike are you with your characters? And if you're not, then where do you draw your inspiration from? Uh, I'm not. I'm not really like Hutch at all. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not, man. I, I don't. I don't yell at kids that much. Uh, uh, where you get it from? I mean, but like playing a, playing an asshole is fun. Uh, it's one of my favorite characters to play. Uh, some somebody who's who has like who has to change, but is like pretty damaged in that way and stunted. I've seen a lot of those people growing up, and I still, I, mean, I still have friends who are kind of like that. So it's cool to draw from different people I've known and be able to play them on screen. And uh, yeah, the only thing I probably would relate to Hutch most is like maybe fitness. I'm not crazy like he is. I don't have body issues or nothing like that. But like I do like working out, so that was that was fun. Yeah, you look like you're in shape, man. Uh, I'm all, I'm all right. I got fat abs. It's cool. Yeah. And you got that Um, personally, I have a little brother, so you know, I'm. 13 years older than him, so I've kind of, you know, spent a lot of time with him. And it was very similar to working with the kids on set. Um, my brother and I, we both have gone through, you know, our share of body shaming stuff, I guess, you know. Um, so, yeah, Abby was really close to me. She was. And it was it was a fun character to play. It's, you know, a positive message. Yes. And I want to ask, uh, you know, one of the things that cracks me up all my life is the fact that you know sometimes kids says the darnest things in this movie? Kids say the craziest <laughs> stuff. Yeah, 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 we were sense. like, did you really say that? Then yeah. So I was, I was, that's what I'm gonna ask you, uh, Annabelle. What was your first reaction when you read the script? And you know, oh my God, kids are gonna say these lines. <laughs> I, I couldn't wait. Um, I had seen their pictures and they just looked their headshots in the office. They just looked funny, so I couldn't wait to hear them, you know, say the lines. And then when I got on set, they were just a trip to work with. Yeah, yeah they were a lot of fun. <laughs> you, you were revved up all the time. I always like all movies where where kids like get to talk like adults. It's and then like, they would eat candy. They yeah. would like eat a lot of sugar on yeah. set, and it's like, how do they just go? And I wasn't helping at all because I was acting childish with them. Like, hey, we were having so much fun, man. They would have to quiet me down to help quiet them down. Like, yeah. yeah, we uh, we had a blast, man. Those kids are so confident too. It was and like and it, like she said, so funny. It was just a good time all around. I thought I mastered this, the art of swearing, but man, those kids beat me to it. Oh yeah, and the parents were their, their parents were there. Some of them don't talk like that, like at least in front of their parents. So to to be doing that in front of them all the time was probably like a lot too much fun for them. I had a friend uh, come to the premiere, and I'm like, yeah, just you know, bring your kid. It's a kids movie. <laughs> when the movie ended, you know, I'm I'm not a mom, so I guess I'm not parent. You know, my little brother, he's 15 now, but he's like, he loves tits and ass, and he talks crazy. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, it's a kids movie. You know, my brother would watch this, but I think her kid is like 10, 11. And it's after the me. after the movie, she looked at me. She's like, this is not a kids movie. I'm like. <laughs> There's kids in it. <laughs> there's, kid, there's kids in it. It's a kids movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You scarred that kid forever. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you about the theme of the film. You know, uh, like you said earlier, somebody might or an audience might mistake this. Oh, this movie's trying to fat shame people. No, that's not the uh, the, the idea of this film, right? It's not, yeah. No, the, the, I think the overall message is to be comfortable in your own skin. And, and, and the originality of who you are is, is, is more important than anything else or, percep or any perception that somebody else has of you. And I think the, comfort the comfortability that these kids sell in the movie is, is perfect. And it's a good message for people. I also mean, if your kid can handle swearing and, uh, and laughing... <laughs> And by inappropriate things, I think the overall message is pretty positive for everybody. And you know, what do you hope you t uh, the audience will take away? Um, you know, I keep saying with the press stuff that with this film, you know, I always say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that in this film there's um, characters like Candace, for example, you know, which one of our characters is in love with. And it's like, you know, there's this almost unrealistic idea of what beauty is with like social media and like you know, covers of magazines, everybody's airbrushed. And it's like, there's this idea of perfection that isn't real. 
you know, and I love the fact that in the movie, the kids are, you know, are confident and it's, it's a real life thing. I think, you know, kids go, not just kids, adults, you know, go through, through body shaming all the time. And it's, it's a positive message. Now, growing up, I hated summer camps. I, I just never liked it. <laughs> Can you share a bit about your experience if you had, uh, you know, experienced summer camp either as a counselor or as a participant? Uh, man, we didn't go to summer camp, but okay. we, we went to church camp and it was Baptist church. It was very boring. Chris, Chris and I are from the hood. <laughs> like, like, for real. Like, there's no Our real parents couldn't camp. afford summer camp. Nah, we nah. were. Is they church retreats, is yeah. what you would call them. Uh, and and we went. With the cousins and yeah. grandma. And we, and we would go because, you know, we had we had crushes on the girls at church. And if the girls went, we went. You know what yeah. I mean? Just to see what happened. It was over the weekend and in the forest and everybody hated it. And then you come back to the city and you're like, I never want to do that again. You know, your, your character, Abby. And, you know, Hutch is, you know, trying to get Abby's attention. You know, I want to ask you, uh, I know that girls like guys with confidence. But girls also don't like guys that come off too strong. So where does guy have to be uh, to be in a moderation or, or no? Just balance. <laughs> um, well, he can't seem thirsty. That's for sure. No, confidence. Um, can't be thirsty. Confident. Drink water. He's, um, I think confidence is the most attractive thing a man can have. I mean, I'm attracted to confidence. Not arrogance, but confidence more than I am looks. Like a guy can look really attractive and the moment i talk to him if he just doesn't have a good personality if he's not confident it's just like a deal breaker i think confidence makes people attractive yeah, i think hutch got too much of that right yeah he dressed like a bum the whole movie <laughs> like, he's wearing flip-flops and like cut off t-shirts all the time like that I mean come on there's only so many outfits you can have that look like look like that you know what i mean i need you to try a little bit as I'm winding down to my final questions, I want to ask you, what's your uh, next project? What, what's coming up next that we can anticipate? Uh, I have a show coming out called Disjointed on Netflix on uh, August 25th. So that'll be out. And then uh, this movie we just, we just wrapped called Deep Murder should be in the uh, festival soon. And then, um, yeah, I got some other projects I can't really speak on just quite yet. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be having stuff coming out. Oh, and a half-hour special with Comedy Central. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you're still doing Ballers or Quantico? Uh, no, I'm focusing more on films right now. I left um, both shows. Um, I start shooting a film in the fall that I'm really, really excited about. And I have a couple other projects pending, which I can't talk about either. And I'm in the midst of producing um, a kid's show. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is one of my favorite films of the year. And congratulations on Fat Camp. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.